Hi, I'm Eric Grant. I do most of the video editing here at CRI. I'm currently working on the video that shows you how to build a Bimini and doing all the editing. This video will be available on DVD and it will be two hours long. Right now I want to show you a very small excerpt of how to do patterning for a Bimini. This is taken from the DVD but is very short and some parts have been taken out. Sit back and enjoy this portion of the video that shows how to do patterning for a Bimini. We're going to put transfer tape, double-sided tape, on each bow and use that to secure our pattern material and then we'll be able to mark the pattern material and use that for our final uh, cutting. But in order to keep the double-sided tape from sticking to these aluminum tubes, we need to put down a tape that has some body so we can pull it off and we'll put our double side tape on top of it and then both will come off at the same time. Okay, I'm, I'm measuring the splines from spline to spline or spline joint to spline joint and then I'm going to divide that in two. It turns out it's 50 inches so at 25 inches I'm going to have the center point. So 25 inches is the center line. And I'm marking that on the bow then we'll transfer that line to the pattern when we're done. Let's do it on the next bow. Each up, bow say. of a Sayerite Bimini kit is cut into three sections to help save on shipping and make it possible to ship without having to go via truck. The sections are joined together with splines. The bows have been cut to size by you. After they've been joined together, we're finding the center spot for each one of these bows and marking it. We've already adhered the strapping tape on top of the bows and then on top of the strapping tape we've yeah, adhered the double-sided tape that's provided in the kits. This double-sided tape will make it possible to take the patterning material and lay it carefully on top working out any wrinkles. The end result will be a bimini top that will be exactly the same shape as the pattern material. So be careful to work out any wrinkles and any inconsistencies because what you get here will be your final result. By using the double sided tape you can see in the video that we can make adjustments to the patterning material nicely. So double sided tape definitely aids in making a beautiful okay, pattern. Really well let's, let's go before we do any fine tuning let's get it all the stuff on. Take your time in patterning That's just good. to make sure you work out any bubbles. You don't want to pull the material too taut because it could stretch, even though this is a patterning material that's designed not to stretch much. Now that we're happy with the pattern material, we'll transfer all of our seam lines and our dots to the pattern material. There's the dot on the bow and we use a sharpie with a fine point to transfer it to the pattern material. You'll notice here that Jim is using his finger here against the bow and putting a line for the seam at a 90 degree angle. Notice the pin is straight with the front of this bow. This is a secondary bow. On the secondary bow and on the aft bow or the primary bow, this line will be placed right in front at 90 degrees as shown here in the video. For the intermediate bow, it will be placed right on top. We'll do that later. Here's the point on the other side of that bow, and we're also putting an arrow on there so we can find it easily when we get to the loft floor. Here we're just continuing the line. Now here's the intermediate bow, and you notice Isaiah is putting the pin mark right on top of that bow. Okay, that's where the seam line will rest. Find the dot and put the dot. Just a little tiny dot on the pattern. There's the dot. And I'm just going to transfer that dot to the pattern. This is Sout, S O U T. Okay, now one more thing we need is the center line. I'm reproducing the center line and I'm putting with a, a C with a line through it. You do the same on that. 
right over our mark. It's important to label these so you don't get confused when you take it to the loft floor. We labeled the sout, meaning starboard out, and pout on the other side, meaning port out, and also the center lines on okay. each bow. Okay. Now we're working with the aft pattern. We hope you enjoyed this little snippet. For the full version on building a bimini, order it on DVD today. Thanks again for watching. I'm Eric Grant with Sailrite.